I'm going to talk to you about ITER, the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, being built in France. Its goal is simple, to generate a net power output from fusion. To do that, it needs to generate an artificial star, like the one we have here. Ugh. It needs to take this star and put it in a box and generate electricity from it. And it's the engineering that goes into this box that makes it really exciting. For a start, not many box materials can survive the 150 million degrees Celsius necessary for fusion to occur. Steel won't cut it, titanium won't cut it, even the silica ceramic tiles on the space shuttle will melt in a fraction of a second. What we can use instead, however, are magnets. ITER will use 10,000 tonnes of niobium tin supermagnets to control and focus the hydrogen plasma into the shape of a tokamak, which is a technical term for a donut. Once you've done that, throw some radio waves at it and it'll heat up enough to start fusing. However, you'll need something a bit more substantial than sunglasses to protect yourself from the heat it'll generate. ITER will then encase the entire thing in 5,000 tonnes of austenitic stainless steel. The same stuff cutlery is made from. This is to prevent neutron damage from weakening the reactor wall over ITER's lifetime. The steel won't melt because it will be full of water pipes to take the energy from the fusion away as steam and turn turbines to generate electricity. The only byproduct of this all is helium. But the most exciting thing about ITER for me is the promise that this 17 billion dollar box will hopefully deliver the most limitless energy from the hydrogen in water. Unless renewable sources can provide enough energy when fossil fuels run out, ITER may be our only hope to solve the world's energy problems. And that, to me, is exciting engineering.